I wanted to go over um, some more of the types of problems you're going to encounter in your homework assignment for this week. Uh, this is problem number seven, and it comes from the worksheet that has the title Circles and Inscribed Angles. The first thing I want you to do um, when you're looking at this diagram for problem seven is to note that this line segment FD right here is actually the diameter of our circle. And so remember that a diameter will cut a circle in half. So that means that this diameter helps us identify this arc, which is arc FPD. So we have arc FPD. And because that arc constitutes half of the circle, we know that the measure of arc FPD equals 180 degrees. Now, we're asked to find the measure of this unknown arc here. So we're looking for the measure of arc PD. So we can notice that if we take the measure of arc PD and we add it to the measure of arc FP, this is going to equal the measure of arc FPD, which we've already identified as being half of the circle. So you may want to pause the video to make sure that you can locate these different arcs. Um, arc PD right here is our unknown arc. So it extends from point P to point D on the circumference of the circle. And then arc FP is this arc right here. And if we put these two arcs together, that's going to give us the green arc, which is arc FPD. So um, we can fill in some things we could replace in this equation that I just wrote right here. We could replace the measure of arc FPD with 180 degrees. That comes from right up here. Okay. Now let's see if we can figure out anything about the remaining arcs. So we're given this piece of information right here. We're given the measure of this inscribed angle, FEP. And notice how FEP, the inscribed angle FEP, has endpoints of F and P, which are the endpoints of arc FP. So uh, this inscribed angle, FEP, cuts off arc FP. And in class, we talked about the relationship that exists between an inscribed angle and the arc that is cut off from the circle by that inscribed angle. And we were told that the inscribed angle is equal to one half the measure of the arc that it cuts off. So if the inscribed angle is 35 degrees and its measure is one half of arc FP, that must mean that arc FP would be two times 35 or 70 degrees. That's the measure of arc FP. So 
So I can replace arc FP in uh, this equation here with 70 degrees. So now we have an equation with one unknown. The unknown is the measure of arc PD, which has been marked in yellow on the diagram. And we can just use a little bit of algebra to solve for what angle um, would make this equation true. Maybe you can already see it. What number plus 70 degrees would equal 180 degrees? And so if we subtract 70 degrees from both sides of this equation, we get that the measure of arc PD is equal to 110 degrees. So that wasn't too difficult. Let's take a look at another problem. So this problem number 13 is on a page that actually has no um, title at the top. Um, for this problem number 13, you are asked to actually find the measure of the arc or angle that's indicated. So we're asked to find the measure of angle um, NLM. So we're going to mark this. We're interested in the measure of this angle. OK. So it's this angle right in here. And if you notice, this angle NLM is an inscribed angle. It has its vertex on the circumference of the circle, and then its endpoints are also on the circumference of the circle. That's what makes it an inscribed angle, having its vertex on the circumference of the circle. So this inscribed angle cuts off this arc right here, arc NM, and we're actually given a measure for this arc. This measure is actually described in terms of an algebraic expression. So the measure of arc NM is 7x minus 10. And remember, once again, the relationship between inscribed angles and the arcs that they create. So this inscribed angle right here must be half the measure of 7x minus 10. So somehow we must find out what 7x minus 10 is. Notice we're given another piece of information. We're given this 13x minus 10, and that's the measure of this arc that I'm highlighting in turquoise. So let's kind of summarize some of this information. We're given the measure of arc NM in terms of an algebraic expression. And that expression is 7x minus 10. And then we're also given the measure of arc ML. And that measure is 13x minus 10. Now, what can we say about the measure of arc N? ML. Let's see. I'll pick orange for that. It's this arc right here that is composed of the sum of the pink arc and the turquoise arc. If you look closely, you're going to notice that this arc actually represents half of the circumference of the circle, right? This arc in orange is actually cut off 
by line segment LN, which is actually the diameter of the circle. So this arc, NML, is equal to the measure of half the circumference of the circle, which we know is going to be 180 degrees. Since the whole circumference of a circle equals 360 degrees. So now we can see that this orange arc is actually the sum of the two smaller arcs. If we add the measure of the pink arc together with the measure of the turquoise arc, that's going to equal the measure of the orange arc. And we have um, expressions or numbers for each of these measures. So all we have to do is just do some substituting with the information we've gathered up here. So we know that the measure of arc NM is 7x minus 10. And we're going to add this to the measure of arc ML, which is 13x minus 10. And if we add these two arcs together, they should equal 180 degrees. Now we've reduced this to a simple algebra problem. And so all we have to do is clean up the left-hand side a little bit by combining like terms. So we can combine the 7x and the 13x to get 20x. And then we have a negative 10 plus a negative 10, which is going to give us a negative 20, and that's all going to equal 180. Because we want to isolate uh, the x on one side so that we can solve for the value of x, I'm going to uh, actually add 20 to both sides. And so what we'll be left with is 20x equals 200. And now it's just a matter of dividing both sides by 20. And then we get x equals 10. Now, is this the answer we were looking for? Um, I don't think so, because we were asked to find the measure of the inscribed angle NLM. And what we've just done is we found the value of x. So the next thing we have to do is we want to plug this value of x into this expression for the measure of arc nm. So we know that the measure of arc mn equals 7x minus 10, and we've just found that x is actually equal to 10. So where I see x, I'm going to substitute in the value of 10. And 7 times 10 is 70. And we'll subtract 10 from that. So this must be 60 degrees. Uh, the measure of arc nm is 60 degrees. But remember, we're not being asked to find the measure of this arc right here. We're being asked to find the measure of angle LMN, where I have the question mark highlighted in yellow. And so once again, we're going to remember the relationship between an inscribed angle and the arc that it cuts off. And the inscribed angle is always going to be half of the measure of the arc that it cuts off. So because arc NM has a measure of 60 degrees, we know that the measure of angle NLM is going to equal one half the measure of arc N, M, and we know that arc N, M is 60 degrees. Figured that out down here. So that's going to equal 1 half times 60 degrees. 
And so the measure of our inscribed angle is actually going to be 30 degrees. That's the measure of our missing angle. I want to go over one other problem, which looks a little complex. This problem is on the same page as the problem that we just did. We just did problem 13. And so if we go up to the top of that page, you're going to see a problem number nine that has this diagram. Once again, this problem number nine is on the page that doesn't have any type of a heading on it. So I've actually tried to color code this diagram a little bit to help us see a little bit more of what is going on. Um, we're asked to find the measure of this missing arc. And There actually was a question mark over here, but it got a little bit covered up. So this question mark right here pertains to this arc, arc FV. That's what we're asked to find. We're asked to find the measure of the turquoise arc. And we've been given two pieces of information, actually three pieces of information. We've been given the measure of the arc that's been highlighted in yellow. That's 168 degrees, so that's arc GH, which has a measure of 168 degrees. Then we've been given the measures of two inscribed angles. So I have this 65 degree angle here, and that's created by line segments uh, VH and GH. And if you notice, GH and VH cut off arc VG on the circumference of the circle, which has also been marked in pink. So the angle VHG, which measures 65 degrees, is an inscribed angle because it has its vertex resting on the circumference of the circle. And remember that inscribed angles have half the measure of the arc that they cut off. So if I wanted to find the measure of arc VG, or we could call it VFG, if I wanted to find that measure, all I'd have to do is multiply 65 degrees by two, which I have down here, and that would give us 130 degrees. So the pink arc has a measure of 130 degrees. Um, I'm gonna try and clear off some of these markings. The next arc that I want to focus on is going to be the green arc. This green arc is created by this inscribed angle which measures 119 degrees. So it is angle, inscribed angle FVH that actually equals 119 degrees. And once again, the inscribed angle always has half the measure of the arc that it cuts off from the circle. So because this green angle um, FVH equals 119 degrees, to find the measure of the green arc, all we have to do is multiply 119 by 2 and I believe that should give us 238 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna clear off some of these lines as well. Okay, so now um, I want you to notice something interesting. 
If I were to take the orange arc that I've marked in the diagram, arc FG, and if I were to add it to the yellow arc, GH, that should equal the measure of the green arc, FGH. So I've just, I've just created a little um, equation here adding those two arcs together, the orange arc and the yellow arc, to show that they equal the measure of the green arc. So you may want to go ahead and just pause the video to make sure that you're understanding what I'm doing here. Now, if you look, we've been given the measure of the yellow arc, and we figured out the measure of the green arc. So we can use that information to help us solve for the measure of the orange arc. All I need to do is subtract 168 from both sides of this equation. And that should give me the measure of arc FG. So we're left with the measure of arc FG is equal to, and then we'll do some subtraction here, 8 minus 8 is 0, 13 minus 6 is 7. So the measure of arc FG is 70 degrees. Okay, so FG, let's see if I can add that, FG is 70 degrees. And we know that the pink arc is 130 degrees. Okay, so now let's look at the pink arc and how it's related to the orange arc and the turquoise arc. I set up another equation down below, okay? So we're once again, we're looking at the orange arc, the pink arc, and the turquoise arc, which is actually our unknown arc. And if you look closely, you should see that if we add the orange arc to the turquoise arc, let's see, I'm right down here. So I'm adding the orange arc to the measure of the turquoise arc, and those two arcs together should form the pink arc. We can see that from the highlighting in the diagram. Now I know the measure of the pink arc and I know the measure of the orange arc. The pink arc is 130 degrees. The measure of the pink arc should equal the measure of the orange arc. Uh, we just figured that out here. Plus the measure of arc VF, which is our unknown arc. It's, it's what we're trying to solve for. So once again, this is just a very simple equation. You probably don't even have to do any algebra. You can figure this out in your mind, but we could subtract 70 from both sides. And what we're left with on the right is the measure of arc VF. And when we subtract 70 from 130, we get 60 degrees. So the measure of arc VF, which is our missing arc, is 60 degrees. And that's our answer for number nine.